So the Internet's role in the mind control, and I'm going to summarize a lot of things that I've talked about in the past. Facebook, in a lot of cases, has replaced human relationships, but it's also become the place for the revolution. And it's become a place where fake news has been something that Facebook has been assisting with, not fighting. So the official story about Facebook fighting fake news isn't accurate, but they are censoring things that they consider sensitive, especially things regarding 9-11 but not the actual fake news, falsely declaring that Sharia law is coming to this city or another city. See, a lot of that nonsense really fueled this hysteria about the immigrants. You have internet addiction on the left and right, and probably worldwide. In fact, I think I remember reading stories about computer addiction or gaming addiction in China or internet addiction and so when when aspects of people's regular lives fall apart they fall into this virtual reality and if they're living in one of these major cities they probably have the option to get really cheap internet for like twenty dollars a month or thirty and they can be on the internet all the time and live their virtual reality most humans don't know that spiritual parasites use the internet and connections, internet connections. I'm giving you my opinion, but as a conduit. And there's a lot of people think they've left the mainstream media, they've gone to the internet, and they think that's where the truth is. And that's where you find some of the most perverse fake news. Um, a lot of other distractions all kinds of other perversions that are on the internet. And with regards to spirituality, fake channeled messages from the so-called ascended masters. And so if people want to go down that direction of self-discovery regarding spirituality, there are so many ways that they can become co-opted into the false light and not truly look within, which is a deeper subject for another time. So co-opt here, co-opt there, co-opt there. Yes, the internet is helping me get the message out. And the internet has done so much good. We are here discussing the internet specifically as a mass mind control tool that they are using. We can use it for good in other ways. See, this should be noted. We can come back to this conversation. If my friend was here, he would be talking about the solar flares. And he has his own rant about, based on conversations that we've had, and you've heard my thoughts on the manner about how the, how the sun affects humanity and cycles and trends and fads and wars and movements and migration and agriculture and weather and earthquakes and lions and tigers and bears, right? So the idea of using the solar cycles to our benefit, as opposed to... Uh, Letting them use the solar cycles against us as they start their wars and they tell one group that's highly energized to go attack the other group. 9-11, perfect example. Right when we're seeing an increase in these sunspots and boom, you have the event. And then boom, people are pushed into motion. And then by the time we go into a minimum, boom, we're already in Afghanistan and Iraq. And the rest is history. How can people nonviolently, since I don't really support the anarchist, black bloc, uh, you know, that type of action, but how can people move in action uh, to help curb a lot of this? And so bringing this back to the internet, I'm not demonizing the internet, but if there are other people out there that know how to whip people up, that know how to use social media, that know how to plant fake news, we need to be aware of it. We need to become intelligent enough to see that Facebook has been a main purveyor of fake news this entire time. It's whipped up millions of people on the planet into a hysteria that they're falsely being invaded. And they've been so mind programmed by the internet that they're willing to take violent action against innocent people or support others taking violent action against innocent people. And... Because the propaganda that Soros pays all the protesters and that Soros is a pedophile, 
They see all the protesters as pedophiles. They see all the people blocking traffic, even though I don't agree with the people blocking traffic, but they see them as terrorists. Are they going to say they're worthy of being raped? Well, too late with regards to Kate Brown. In one video posted by uh, CSI Media regarding uh, Governor Brown defying Trump on the immigration order, their calls for her to be raped. There are other things said regarding Hillary. And I'm not a Hillary supporter, but where, where's like the psycho rhetoric coming from? And so I mentioned the vets in the past video. You have internet addiction, you have PTSD, you have unresolved issues, and you have mind control. And now they're being taught, the veterans. So this is why we went over there. This is why we killed the Muslims and the Middle Eastern people. You know, they keep pumping this, well, I went out and served my country. Now I've been invaded by Sharia law. Well, do you have YouTube of anybody invading you with Sharia law? No, you don't. What you have are fears generated by articles that you've read. And events that were manufactured, even if they had to gra grab some Muslims or, or grab some immigrants and say, hey, you know, we're going to hook you up with this, that, and the other. We need you to role play in the situation. So we can whip these people up into a frenzy. You know, while you ignore the millions to billions of innocent Muslims that did nothing to you. While there's been a war on terror, so-called war on terror, and millions dead. How many genuine terror attacks in the United States on the part by Muslims? So I'm going to bring this back down to the point. The internet has been just a massive propaganda tool. With Alex Jones, for example, just to list one of many, but not too many. Here, he used the internet as a massive recruitment tool, and they never, never shut him down. And whenever you look up certain topics, there he is at the top of YouTube. Because he's developed that organization, and for a while I just thought he was really talented, until it started to really take off at a level that was like becoming like a machine and it became faker and faker and then holy shit he's shilling for Trump and he's demonizing all Muslims and then that it was clear that the gloves had to be off and stay off you know because I knew something was wrong years earlier but it's like when, when you start using the internet uh, to start demonizing whole groups of people uh, the internet is something that Nazi Germany didn't have I said this in uh, one of my uh, podcasts with Kyle Reardon. Nazi Germany didn't have Facebook. And so people were being propagandized in their own way through speeches, but it, it wasn't hitting them as fast. Like, boom, boom, boom. It was like, oh, okay. And it took a little bit of time, and then boom. And they were off to the whole thing. With the internet thing, there's like years and years and years and years of brainwashing. So even though it's taken a long time to maybe pull the, the, the trigger... It doesn't mean it's not dangerous. Okay, we have like a whole year here, two years here or, or longer of them pumping up this Sharia law invasion, which has never taken place. And even though Obama killed many Muslims and even created, you know, immigration bills that people didn't protest at the time that are similar to what Trump's doing, according to some analysts. Um, we, we really saw... Uh, on Obama that people chose to call him Muslim with no proof whatsoever, concerns about his name, Hussein, playing up stuff like that. And so there's been like this long-term playing up with the fear of the Islamic threat. And they've shown us that they were able to really delay hysteria uh, until the last few years, until he started using the internet and Facebook and perhaps other mediums um, to, to lead people in this direction to see what's happening what also needs to be mentioned all the videos all the streaming it's done something to these people's minds you know in the constant staring at the monitor at the artificial light it's doing something to them it's 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 not just it's not just the water the air it's it's also the quality of the stuff that they watch so you, you take a look at the quality of alex jones now compare to the quality of the stuff that he used to put out a very long time ago and it's a big, big difference. Even though a lot of it in the past was a lot of ranting, at least there was a lot of truth. Even if he got angry and got belligerent, he was perceived to be on the right side. Uh, now, you're seeing a lot of people that are like becoming addicted to like a drug. 
they become addicted to certain shows and it becomes like a narcotic the effect of Alex Jones or other programming and the endorphins released and again the, the revolution really being televised instead of the saying the revolution won't be televised no, no no the revolution will be televised but on Facebook and YouTube not censored and so you look at it there and you like and you think you're revolting by spreading it over the the digital and on one level on one level and I'm playing a role in that but we have to step back from supporting that system as well. And then, of course, looking at what does it mean to really evolve as a human being in our own personal lives and not let all the civil unrest stuff distract us. I think that that's the meaning of all of it. You know, the Internet plays a huge role. You know, here, here's this video and here's this video and, and, and here's this thread about Planet X. And it's really good at distracting the intuitive human who's like trying to use the machine to really... Uh, maybe cross-verify concerns that the human being has had. Like, huh, I'm having feelings about certain things. Oh, look at this. This is pulling me in. Pull, cord established. Like a cord, something almost spiritual or etheric. I was Alex Jones, the perfect example, because he's like a parasite. You know, the people that are courting with him, listening to him, you know, those people aren't worth arguing with because they're gone. Okay, they have no credibility arguing on behalf of Alex Jones. That means they're dangerous. Well, Alex Jones is making a lot of good points. He's walking up to this Middle Eastern person and he's going, are you with the Islamic Jihad? And people are like, yay, this is so great. This is scary. This is the, the zombie apocalypse. And you look at how much time people are spending these virtual realities and, and, and what they're filling their minds with and how a lot of these forms of entertainment uh, and pornography included and Hollywood cinema Whatever you might see on Netflix, whatever you might see on Hulu, well, you know, whatever the main sites are of any of those genres, you'll notice the mainstream media promotes them. More people, more young people are spending more of their time in these digital worlds and on their smartphones, and they're filling their minds with garbage. And it's really troubling, and it scares me. And sometimes I don't really tell you how much it scares me. I know that everything happens for a reason, or I think I believe that, but I get really scared, and I am really scared. Um, you know, it's like, uh, we're moving somewhere very fast. It's gotta be a reason why we're here and we need to keep looking at that. We need to, we need to come back down to our spiritual center and maybe spend a day offline. Today, I'm trying to stay offline. I've checked messages a few times. Um, there were a couple videos where a lot of hate was coming through, <laughs> calling for people to be hurt. I changed the title to like, stop drawing that energy. Instead of like group like stops people from burning flag, all these people going, kill them all. I'm like, Portlanders celebrate 4th of July with like a picture of like a, 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 a cake. I kid you not. I really did that last night to, to, to break down my own views. Seriously, I really did that. I have a, view, I have a video with 285,000 views and, and it has nothing but like the, the most psychotic white trash people commenting on it and another video. So I turn the comments off on one. Um, that means less views. That hurts the SEO. I don't care. Um, sometimes we have to take some time off the internet. Read a book. Reconnect with nature. Or change what we're watching on the internet. You know, download a speech. Also, download things on the internet. And then listen to them on other devices. Don't just fall asleep with like a Skype window open or Facebook. And honestly, I think that there's there's something analyzing us as humans in a giant database. Yeah, absolutely. I think there are aliens that watch human beings that use all our data on Facebook in a database to learn more about us. They set it up this way. I believe it's part of their development. I think this uh, is going to resonate with a lot of you. <laughs> They're probably chuckling that I'm even telling this to you. But see, this, this should come out. So it's like, um, there's a reason why they got you know, the technological surveillance, global surveillance, super state, and it's not just about the NSA watching you. So, you know, when it comes to detaching from technology, it's not just the internet, it's getting away from your phone, it's getting away from streaming devices, things hooked up to the internet. And you're around more of that if you're in the grid. The reason... I've gone for an off-grid way of life is that I'm away from um, I'm away from the big uh, transformers 
right? I'm away from the power lines. The only power that I have, or you know, it's coming to the solar panels, coming into my battery bank. You know, I'm on a little flip cam now. Um, despite all that, the the sensitivity that I have, I can feel all types of achiness from the internet alone, just from being able to log on. It, it's more of a a conscious thing. It, it, it's it's almost almost transhumanistic and bizarre, but it's 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 like almost telepathic, like mind internet link up. And so, I can testify that it has been really hard, like seeing that many people call for violence, hundreds of of Portlanders, whatever it is, accusing them of terrorism. Uh, because they're considered to be their political enemy and then seeing a number of people in, in like a pattern, like a scattering, like a f- it's like, oh my God, it's like a virus that's spreading. Now I talk about cycles, maybe it'll just go up and it'll peak out and it'll just come down and people start acting normal again. The spell will just wear off and people are like, oh my God, Donald Trump's a reptilian and we'll continue the puppet show with somebody else in a few years if we haven't blown ourselves up yet or started the war with China yet. Which won't lead to necessarily us blowing uh, us up, but but really creating a lot of refugees and warriors out of a lot of people and sex slaves. It wouldn't in the world. It, it would really just uh, put human lives in a massive state of misery. I'm going to talk about that in a future video because they want you focused on the controlled chaos and not how World War Three is going to go down. And I'm the guy that's going to help you see the light with regards to what we're facing. Alex Hanser here, sign off from this part three, February 12th, 2017.